rate cuts, an increased chance of a soft landing and lower inflation. The outlook for next year is looking up in the CNBC Fed survey, to a point. Respondents to the CNBC Fed survey see the Fed beginning rate cuts next year, though not as aggressively or as quickly as markets have priced in. June is the first month for which more than half of respondents have a cut built in, rising to 69% by July. Overall, the average respondent forecasts about 85 basis points of cut next year, roughly 125 basis point trim a quarter, but not as much as the 120 basis points built into futures markets. The Fed needs to begin laying out a roadmap to rate cuts that may represent tighter policy since cuts will be lagging the decline in inflation and real rates will be rising, writes John Riding, chief economic advisor to Breen Capital, in response to the survey. Kathy Bostjancic, chief U.S. economist at Nationwide, writes in, The markets have prematurely priced in high odds of rate cuts starting in Q1. But we do expect further steady disinflation will lead the Fed to begin rate cuts around mid-year. Like the Fed itself, the 35 respondents to the survey, including economists, strategists and analysts, separate into hawks and doves on the issue of rate cuts next year. I still believe, Powell, has the memories of the 1970s in his mind and will be more stubborn in keeping monetary policy tight for longer than markets want him to be, said Peter Bookvar, chief investment officer at Bleakley Financial Group. But Michael Angland of Action Economics writes in, the US headline why, why inflation metrics will fall sharply into early 2024 thanks to weakness in energy prices and easier comparisons, leaving the Fed with significant elbow room to start tightening even if core year-over-year -year inflation rates remain firm. Respondents boosted the probability of a soft landing to 47%, up 5 points from the October survey. They lowered the probability of a recession in the next year by 8 points to 41%, the lowest since the spring of 2022. Still, the average respondent sees the unemployment rising to 4.5% next year and gross domestic product coming in just below 1%, or about half of potential, showing all is not rosy with the forecast and that an economic slowdown remains the baseline forecast for the group. A softening in hiring, income growth, and confidence all point to reduced consumer and business spending, says Joel Neroff of Neroff Advisors. But Diane Swank, chief economist at KPMG, writes in, The U.S. consumer has proven itself a worthy adversary to everything the Fed has dealt it in its fight against inflation. The key is for a rocky ending, with the consumer still standing and able to leave the ring and heal. Once the Fed rings the final bell and starts to cut rates, inflation is forecast to decline on average to 2.7% by the end of next year, down from an expected year-end level of 3.2% for the Consumer Price Index.